Right. Um, uh, while the granola is in the oven, we're going to make um, energy bars also with oats. So when you're at university, if you you know, don't have time for breakfast, you can keep these in the fridge and you can just pack them away and take them with you to your lectures. They are really, really easy to make and they're pretty much the same ingredients as we used before. I am going to cheat. I'm going to use a blender, but if you haven't got a blender, you can pretty much still do this method. Right, so we're going to, this is, I've roasted these nuts um, and it's the same. It's about a cup of um, cashews and a cup of um, uh, almonds, but any nuts that you like. If you're allergic to nuts, just leave them out. So they go into my blender. So, oh. This is about three cups of oats, which I toasted in the oven. But if you haven't got an oven, you can just toast it in a frying pan. So this goes in there. Now these are vegan. So they are dairy free and they are vegan. So they are very good. You can put in a little bit of coconut for tasting. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the wet ingredients. So I have here, um, about six dates. If they're a bit dry, just put some hot water on them. And so that goes in there. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. In it goes. And then the last ingredient is any kind of nut butter. Um, I like peanut butter. This one is cashew butter. Any kind of nut butter. A good old dollop of that. Last but not least we have got the vanilla and remember you don't have to use a vanilla pod I just haven't got anything else. If you weren't using the blender you would just put this all in a big bowl I might have to do it in fact and mix it up with your hands. Okay when it gets all stodgy like that and it's all kind of in a clump it is ready to be squished in. Now you don't cook this, you just put it in the fridge. If you want it a bit sweeter, you could put some honey, but you must remember that dates are very, very sweet. Now, we are going to just dump it in here. Oh, can you see? Oh, look at that. It smells delicious. And we are just going to, with your hands, nice clean hands that you've washed, we are going to squish it down, get it into the corners. The more you pound it down now, the less crumbly it is. Now, if you were making, say, a cheesecake, or you wanted something for a base of something, this would make a really good base for a cheesecake. This is the energy bar ready. Now, all you have to do is put the energy bar in the fridge, and after about an hour, they will be ready to chop up. Because it's got coconut oil keeping it together, once you've chopped them up, just put them into a little plastic container and keep them in the fridge. Okay, but you, they don't last long because I promise you they taste like fudge. They are delicious.